Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite method, how to remove a stuck axle. My first and most favorite tool is going to be an axle removal tool. The proper way to use this tool is to take this tool, insert it between the axle and the transmission, and then you'll take a hammer or a sledgehammer, pound it up, and what this is going to do is it's going to cause the axle to come out of the transmission. Here's a demonstration video how to use this tool. To use this tool properly, wedge the tool between the axle and transmission. Next, use a hammer and a sledgehammer and pound it until the axle pop out of the uh, transmission. Next, you can use a pry bar to help remove the axle furthermore. My next favorite method is to use a pickle fork, a chisel, or a punch to remove the axle. The way this works, you want to take the chisel, put it on over here, and you want to take the hammer, and you want to drive out the axle that way. Or you can use a, a pickle fork. You can also put it up against the axle, and again, use the hammer, and drive out the axle that way. There's a demonstration video of me using a chisel and a hammer to drive out the axle. Again, you can also use a center punch or a pickle fork. If you don't have any of those tools, you can also use a metal pipe to drive out the axle and that will work as well. My next favorite method is to use a pry bar and wedge it between the axle and transmission and pop it out. If that doesn't work, you can also use another pry bar. For example, you can use one pry bar insert it on the bottom and another pry bar, put it on top and pop it out at the same time. Of course, in this method, you're probably gonna need two guys. One guy popping out the axle on the top, one guy popping out the axle on the bottom. Sometimes there's no space to insert another pry bar on the top. So I bought this tool just for this purpose. So it's gonna look like this. And what you're gonna do again, you wanna insert it on top and pop it out the same time while using a pry bar on the bottom. If you still can't remove that stuck axle, that's because it's gonna be this part over here that's causing it. This is called the retaining clip. So basically this retaining clip is stuck somewhere inside a transmission and it's stuck in a certain position. So when you try to pop out the axle, it's getting caught inside a transmission. So the way I do this, I rotate the wheel until the axle starts to rotate and this is gonna cause this retaining clip to move into a different position. After that, now you can pop out the axle with using any of the method shown earlier. There are a lot of ways to remove a stuck axle. For example, you can use a slide hammer with an attachment tool that goes on the end of the slide hammer. It looks kind of like a hook. Basically, it goes behind here. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna use a slide hammer and just kind of pull it back until the uh, axle pop out of place. Another method is to use a slide hammer with a vice grip and basically this vice grip is going to clamp onto the axle. So this is going to work for axle that pretty much uh, broke off and definitely again you can use that um, vice grip with a slide hammer to pull out the axle. The next method is to use a rope. You want to tie it around the axle and you want to pull onto the rope. And if you want to use a pry bar or something to create a handle so it makes your job easier, then that will work as well. If that still doesn't work, you can use a long pry bar, put the vehicle on the lift, and pop the axle out. Like they say, if you have enough leverage, you can move the earth. If that still doesn't work, you can use an air chisel and place the air chisel on this part of the axle here and drive out the axle. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.